In this video, we try out a few Asian spots around the Las Vegas Strip next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up JK Shitters? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are gonna try out a few Asian spots around the Las Vegas Strip, mainly on the south side of the Strip and the north side of the Strip. A few Chinese food spots, and I'm excited to try this out because you guys know I don't really do Asian food very much. Right behind me is Noodle Den here at the Sahara, so stay tuned for that. Let's go to the first spot over at the Tropicana. The next spot we are checking out here is Red Lotus Asian Kitchen here at the Tropicana. They have a nice menu of Asian cuisine. We're gonna try out a couple of plates here and maybe have some sake. Cause I'm in that mood guys, you already know I'm in that mood. I'm digging this design of the uh, soup spoon right here. Tons of them. So here's your menu for the Red Lotus. They have a variety of things from appetizers like pot stickers, egg rolls, there's broccoli beef, peppered beef, Kung Pao chicken. They even have pho here, some chow mein. This is a huge menu. Appetizers, entrees, rice and noodles, and lunch specials, which are a little cheaper, about 15 bucks. So let's try out a couple of things. If you're looking for Red Lotus, it is right next to Robert Irvine's public house. And if you haven't seen my video at the Tropicana yet, check it out down in the link below. We're starting off with the Kobe sake here. We got these nice little uh, circular shot glasses. Shout out to Jasmine for serving us these nice glasses here. Now for those of you that don't know what sake is, it's like a rice, a fermented rice. Mm -hmm. I smell it, it's like grapey, but it's more of a floral yeah. type smell. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna. It is kind of florally. This sake bottle, let's just say uh, you're gonna want to drink it all and get your money's worth. So. So cheers. Cheers, my friend. Oh yeah, really florally. Mm -hmm. it, it's not as like the sting, because I've had sake in the past, there used to be like a harder sting to it. Right. You still get it, but it's very light. Yeah. It's a light sting. No, I agree. You definitely get that whole uh, florally kind of vibe through the whole the whole shot of it. So Jeff, we ended up getting four different plates here. We did. We kind of did a two and two thing, so that's how we'll do it. Okay. How about you try the uh, spring rolls, okay. the egg rolls? Yep. He's gonna try the vegetable egg rolls, and then there's like a sweet and sour sauce to it. There they are. I'm already full, so we're just gonna half and half this one. So he's gonna do one. All right, got some of the sweet and sour here. Mm. Pretty standard, you know, it's your uh, vegetable egg roll. They're really good, very tasty. I like the sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, sweet and sour sauce is what makes it, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pass because I know I gotta eat that shrimp. So we're gonna go with the shrimp. It's got crisp, it looks very crispy, red and green peppers on it, some nice garnishing, cilantro. It's a very and all nice that. presentation, too. Awesome presentation. It looks like a mountain of shrimp. This is the best chopstick game you're gonna get from me. Better than me. Nice and crispy, guys. Yeah, as shrimp goes, how is it? It's different because it's almost like a, it's not like your McDonald's popcorn chicken. No. But yeah. it's fried. It's salt and pepper shrimp, right? Salt and pepper shrimp. Yeah, you get a lot of nice peppery, salt and peppery goodness to it. Nice. All right guys, so I'm gonna go with just two pot thai noodles with beef. Ooh, that looks good, man. I could smell the you can smell pad, it? the pad thai sweetness. You can smell it. Got a little bit of uh, carrots in there, some noodles and some beef. Try it out. Red Lotus, you've got a choice between beef, shrimp, or pork. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is just the beef one, so you can get it with others if you want. Let's try it out. Mm. It's got good flavor. Can I say moist? Moist is, uh, is acceptable for me. Can you say moist? Comment down below, is moist acceptable? Is moist acceptable when you're eating food? Um, I like it though. It's got good flavor. Pair it with a little bit of the white rice they give you. Now, you can get fried rice for $6 or more, but we just chose to get what it came with, which is the white rice, so definitely recommend. Finally, we're gonna go with the peppered beef. You got a mix of onions, green peppers. That looks good. I'm light on the rice, but you do need to have some rice to complement this because yeah. you can't just do it all. You can't just have the peppered beef. I'm gonna struggle with this, but... Nice, warm, sweet, and peppery. Yeah. Got that spice to it. How is the spice? Is it too spicy? Is it... It's about medium. Yeah? It's about medium. Yeah. That's why you need the right. Yeah, to offset to it. To offset it. Yeah. 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 Mm, the onions are good, too. Good, good mix, along with the peppers. I'm loving this, man. Yeah. I am going to finish the rest of this in my hotel room later tonight. There you go. A little spice? How about some Thai iced tea to go with it? That looks good. Oh, yeah. Nice and sweet. 
No need for boba balls. Balls. No boba 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 boba. All right, we're gonna have to do a doggy bag. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Bring some back to your wifey. Yeah. I will bring some back for my my gut, my tummy. And uh, we're gonna move on to the next place. We're in the South Strip now. We're gonna move North Strip for restaurant number two here on Must Try Asian Food on the Las Vegas Strip. If you guys are liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Jaycation. We're almost to 100K. We're trying out the must try Asian food around the Las Vegas Strip. And let's move on to the next one. All right, Jaycation, let's work to the next must try Asian spot on the Las Vegas Strip. And it's here on the Sahara. It's called Noodle Den. They make handmade noodles and some dumplings. This place, I heard, is amazing. I stayed here a couple of days earlier in the week at the Sahara and kept looking at it. And I'm glad to finally try it. So let's go inside and try it out. This is awesome. So you get to see them actually make the wontons and the dumplings and the noodles all in front of us and this place is actually family ran the noodle man he's actually got a restaurant in spring mountain in chinatown as well he opened this place up the, the noodle den and uh, it's family ran so i think his son is back there and even his wife is working as well so really cool to have them here at sahara we ordered a couple of their most popular dishes so we're excited to try it out and uh, show you what's up nice so even their lychee is uh nice and flavored here lychee fizzy oh wow that's tasty and it's got zero fat zero sugar zero calories if you guys are lychee fans the sparkling water very tasty so the first appetizer of the night has come and this is the spicy pork wonton. Wow, one, two, we've got seven pork wontons in here that were just handmade not even half an hour ago probably. Looks so good, this looks really tasty and it looks like it's in chili oil. Let's see how spicy it is. Wow, that is real fresh. The wontons are made right in front of me right now. If you get like a seat in the first, in the entrance, first three tables, you get a front row view of them making the wontons and the dumplings and the noodles. You get my chopsticks. All right, that barbecue stuff. All right, thank you. So this is the pump sauce we did that, okay? And okay. This is the mocha nice slice noodles. Enjoy. Perfect, thank you. How to get chopsticks out. Your boy's terrible with them chopsticks, so pork it is. Roast me in the comments below. All right, what do you think? Oh man, these are Amazing. fire. <laughs> so good. The sauce is what makes it. Mm -hmm. If I could bottle that sauce and sell it, this, this is like a, like a hot oil sauce. Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Yeah. And it's not like ridiculously off the wall. It's just hot oil. enough. Just, just enough, enough to get you going. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling that a deal. Mm. <laughs> this is the Mongolian beef stir fry with knife sliced noodle. And I can see Chef Sam's son out there twisting the noodles, making them right in front of me. Wow, this looks amazing. And it looks like they also have like uh, parts of asparagus in here with the noodle and the beef. Amazing, I can't wait to try that as well. Finally, the crispy roast duck. Ah, oh, the smell of duck, I love it. This is uh, one of my favorite forms of Asian food for sure. Mom Kation and Dad Kation would be jealous right now and they also gave some dipping sauce with it as well we have a plethora of things to try but i'm loving this uh pork wonton that they have next up is the mongolian beef and wow the noodles here are nice and thick this is amazing mm. got some onion with it there is a tad of spice in it you guys know i love spice so wow this is really good the pork is nice and soft, the noodles are really fresh. This is a winner, guys. Definite winner. You're gonna have to feast on this uh, at home later. This is probably one of the most perfect noodles I've ever tried in terms of taste and it being made like right in front of you within minutes. Man, this is real. No wonder why they call Chef Sam the noodle man. Mm. Before you guys say something about me not using chopsticks, here's me trying. That southpaw working. Third and final course here. We got the duck. This looks so good. Let's dip it in their sauce. That duck. Oh man, really great flavor to this duck. Right off the bone, nice lean duck meat. Yes, please. And I'm just finishing up these wontons right here. Mm, yes, please. I'll use my fingers to eat duck. <laughs> I already fumbled with these chopsticks. And if I use a fork, it's hard because the bones are kind of hard to eat off of. So, fingers it is. 
Cucumbers, kind of similar to the spicy pork wontons that I just had, but cucumbers. Ooh, served cold with the same type of spice. Yeah, that's tasty. If you guys are cucumber fans and spice fans, perfect mix. I would definitely say get that along with the spicy wontons and use that as your appetizer. I'm here again with Adil. He is the GM here at Noodle Den. Man. I am full. I'm stuck. Yeah. That was a great meal. Like I was telling you, I'm a big duck fan. Yes. But the uh, the spicy dumplings. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing, man. Oh yeah. That sauce. I legitimately will put it on everything. Mm -hmm. It's that good. Yeah, and it's not overbearingly spicy. No. You know, like usually people are like, I have a stomachache the next day. Nah, it's not that spicy. Right. Yeah. So it's just perfect, fresh as can be. One thing that is important to know about Noodle Den is all of our dim sum options. A lot of our items are made fresh. All of our noodles are made fresh every day, every hour, on the hour to make sure that everything is perfect at the peak of perfection. It's just phenomenal. Yeah, and that, you said uh, Chef Sam's son, he's the one doing the noodles tonight. Family's involved. It's a great thing that, you know, they're passing the torch on to a new generation. Uh, and as well as, you know, the noodle making art mm -hmm. is a lost art. And it's sad because it's so unique and powerful to the culture. And it's great that we're bringing that type of thing here to Noodle Den. We're keeping those traditions alive. And we're using recipes that are legendary, ancient, that have been around forever, time tested, proven, and it's just fantastic. And the guests just eat it up. They love this area. Oh yeah, those noodles were some of the nicest and fresh noodles I've ever had. Absolutely. So check out Noodle Den. You guys are open uh, starting at five usually. That's right, we're open every day, seven days a week. Five o'clock opening. We go all night. It's a great, great uh, location. Please come check us out. Appreciate you, Adil. Thank you. Pleasure as always. See you next time, my friend. Absolutely. All right, man. We're back at my favorite food hall, Famous Food Street Eats. What's awesome about it is that it's constantly changing. They have new stalls and they make improvements all the time. They even have new kiosks around here. There's a boba place. They even have a new taco spot here. They've changed around a few of the uh, Asian foods here as well. So let's go take a little tour and see what's new at Famous Food Street Eats. Kuru Kuru Pa used to be a skewer place and they actually changed up their menu. It's actually owned by the Aoki Brothers. So Steve Aoki, you guys know, famous DJ around Vegas. So now they have bowls. So there's like Wagyu bowls and beef bowls, chicken bowls and a shrimp bowl. And you can see like a little sample here in the front. We're gonna try out some of their new bowls, see how it's like. And like I said, they have the Aguas Frescas and the Michos Tacos here now. Opposite side of Michos Tacos is Tiger Sugar. You can get your boba here now. That was one thing that was missing a few years ago, but now they got the boba. Hi, Lot. Hi, GK Generals. <laughs> Welcome back to Famous yeah. Food here at Resource World. We're featuring the new teriyaki bowls by Steve Aoki and his brother. He's the best, Jay. He's the best. Joe's the man. Here you go. Salama. Thank you, Lot. You're welcome. So let me introduce you. This is the buttery teriyaki bowl. This is for you, Bo. Thank you. And then the crazy beef teriyaki bowl. Nice. There you go. And then the chicken teriyaki bowl. Wow. All right. Good too. Yes. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Hardest, hardest working Thank woman you, in the business right here, Lot Lot. There you go. You guys enjoy, Bo. Oh, thanks, Lot Lot. You're welcome. Special thanks to Lot Lot. And this beef bowl looks really good. It's called the Crazy Beef Bowl. Smell that meat. You guys know that they got that sriracha packets? I'd have this in my pocket if I could. So I'm gonna put a little sriracha on top of some of the beef here, because you guys know I like it spicy. Oh, we saw it on the grill over there. Shout out to Joe on the grill. Let's try it out. Mmm, nice grilled teriyaki flavor to it. Got some onions, some chives. Green onions, mm. little pieces of cabbage as well, yummy. You dip a little bit of the teriyaki sauce with the rice, good stuff. See, rice isn't totally my enemy. I have it with stuff. It's perfect with a teriyaki bowl like this. Mm. 
right. I'm trying the uh, beef bowl. Beef is good. All in all, it's a good bowl. There's vegetables on it and a little bit of sriracha. Perfect. I like the happy beef. Better than chicken. Now let's move on to the second bowl. Next up is the Mama Aoki garlic butter shrimp bowl. So straight from Mama Aoki's recipe. You guys know I love shrimp. You have sesame seed on top of it with carrot, green onions, more rice. Let's just have the rice straight up. It almost brings you back to like being in Oahu in the North Shore, those shrimp trucks. Let's try it out. Great seasoning to that too. Let's add a little spice to the shrimp. Mm, I can almost close my eyes and I'm back in the North Shore. Here we go. Mm. You shrimp man will love this. Really good. Now let's try out bowl number three. Bowl number three, and they also do have a Wagyu bowl. So if you wanna try that, that's an option as well. But since we already had Wagyu in one of my previous videos, we're gonna try everything else out. I'm loving this Sriracha packets. Might have to pocket a couple of these and bring them up for later on. Mmm. The chicken is nice grilled, soft and juicy. Same vegetables and ingredients as everything else. Tasty. You can even add some soy sauce to it. Put a little more of a chicken teriyaki flavor. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Mm, I really do like the flavor of this chicken. No cap. And uh, this is my second Steve Aoki restaurant. The other one was Pizza Aoki. But I'm feeling this even more. For sure, I would say the chicken was my favorite here. And then the shrimp was number two. Just like Bubblegum said, a lot that shrimp. Mm -hmm. A lot. What was your favorite bowl here? Well, my favorite is the Wagyu. It's really good. Next is the garlic butter shrimp because we love seafood and awesome. rice is life. Out of all the stands, what's your favorite? Well, I have to be honest, okay, not because I work here, but my favorite is the Gogo Man. Oh, that's mine. I uh, love the hiking and noodle. The, I love the, the Char Kway Tiao. You like the Hokkien? Yeah. Oh. The noodles and, and you know what? The duck. Burrito is good the too. The fuhu, fuhu, yep. fuhu shack is really good too. Thank you a lot. You're welcome. Always great to see you. Same here. It's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Probably gonna try uh, some boba for dessert. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> Jcationer, please uh, stop by at the famous food here at Resorts World. You're all welcome to try all the different dishes from around the world. And come say hi to lot. Say hi to me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. We went with the Peking duck tacos today. Cheers. I love duck. You guys know that. No bones about it. It is on point. Mmm. It's so good. Guys, you gotta try out the duck tacos or the burrito. Mm. I even forgot to put the lime on it. Man. Alright. We're gonna have that taste and try it. Never had bun before. There you go. Mmm. A lot of flavor there. No there bones. No bones, some sweetness of the duck. That would be the sauce they use. A little spicy. It's real put, good. So you put the hot oil in it. Plus they have this red pepper in there. It's really good. That kitchen approved? Yeah. There are definitely no ifs, ands, or bones about it. The duck burrito is one of my favorites every time I go to Famous Food Street Eats. All right, JKationers, if you enjoyed this video of Asian food around the Las Vegas Strip, check out my five must-try Asian food spots in Las Vegas right here, where I have a few guest stars and we try out Asian food, not only here on the Strip, but on Spring Mountain Road. If you guys wanna see me do more videos like this or restaurants, not just Asian food, let me know down in the description box below and please like the video subscribe to jcation we're almost to 100 000 subscribers and we'll see you guys in the next one and in the words of jcation stay traveling las vegas let's go